Hello. I'm Barack Obama. And I'm Gordon Brown. We are going to tell you the true story of Chappelle Corby, the innocent victim of corruption in politics. October 2004. Corruption in Indonesia is endemic. War on drugs funding is attractive. Chappelle lands for a holiday in Bali. She is terrified to find some marijuana in her bag. She is arrested and illegally interrogated for nine hours. They refuse to weigh her luggage. If it was heavier than in Australia, they would be forced to release her. They simply refuse to weigh it. The value of drugs in Indonesia is much lower than in Australia. There is no motive. And then the terrible show trial. The judge had never acquitted anyone in over 500 cases. They refused to test the marijuana for country of origin. If it was Indonesian, she must be acquitted and freed. They refused to check the drugs for fingerprints or DNA. They burned the evidence so that it can never be used to free her. They burned the evidence with her begging them not to. They talked about sending a warning to other Australians, a clear political intervention. They refused to retrieve the CCTV tapes from the airport. They refused to let her cross-examine or question customs officers. Chappelle didn't have a chance. She simply didn't have a trial. They sentenced her to a barbaric 20 years in the living hell of an Indonesian prison cell. More than murderers, terrorists, and rapists. A clear political sentence. A systematic abuse of human rights. They condemned her to miss the best years of her life. To never have kids. To never see them play, and to possibly die there. She is still there today. But back in Australia. The Australian government value their strategic relationship with Indonesia more than Chappelle Corby. The bottom line. The Australian government sold Chappelle Corby's human rights for political expediency. They chose appeasement. They chose politics ahead of people. They turned a blind eye. Chappelle Corby is a working class girl, and not one of the establishments. She is dispensable to them. They simply use the organs of state, and sections of the media, to subdue public opinion. The state-owned ABC network orchestrated it, little by little, bit by bit. They have simply abandoned her. After all these years she is still there. Alone. And struggling to survive. Chappelle Corby needs real people like you to speak for her. Chappelle Corby needs you. Please help free Chappelle. Please don't walk away. Please help free Chappelle Corby now. Chappelle is only just hanging on. Please help her.